In today's video, we will be looking at Tamura Hiritos, so stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and I want to know if Tamura Hiritos is a clean anime, or is it so inappropriate that you shouldn't watch it? Let's find out. What if you could capture life's happiest moments as you grew up reminiscing of the memories from each other? This is exactly what happens in Tamura Hiritos based on the manga with the same name made by Jinchi Sato who wrote and directed Tamura anime as well and being produced by HAL Film Studio and TYO Animation Inc. companies and published through Nozomi Entertainment. Temura Hiritos is about a young girl named Foon or later Pate learning to be a photographer. After her father died, she wanted to continue his legacy by taking up his photography. Foon or Pate is entering high school and is sort of a kind of nervous wreck at times when she speaks up or keeps quiet and is sometimes embarrassed. Kaoru is a girl trying to help Pate when she was little and helped her overcome her shyness and is a longtime childhood friend. Mao is a girl who whistles, yes whistles, when she likes something or has something interesting to say and she comes across as a more shy type than Pate may be. The one who translates her whistle is Nori who has an energetic personality of the group and seems to be obsessed with Pate's younger brother Ko because he's so cute and she wants to help him out but can go over the top sometimes while Ko is Pate's younger brother who likes reminiscing through their old dad's photos and goes to school and with grades and is very helpful around the house. This one has a more moi art style to it in its animation, but it's kind of different at the same time because it's about pictures. It's sort of like it has an old rustic look while still maintaining to be colorful and bright, mixing the two together for a very unique experience. There are two openings in Tamura Hiritos and the OVA song is one of the most beautiful songs that seems to capture the essence of when you may have been a child and you grew up with the memories of your grandparents while the second opening captures the expression of people and how they feel at the moment. The ending song has some calmness about it while the music is still good it is very calm and the sound effects are very well placed throughout this anime. As for fan service, there is one scene in the ending where everyone is bathing together, as well as his grandfather and Ko in a bathhouse, as well as one scene where Ko is in the shower, but all that is shown is the shoulders. There is one curse word in this anime, but it's rarely used, and that is the D word, so you will probably miss it. In conclusion, Tamura is another good, clean, fun anime if you're looking for something that captures the moments of when you grew up and want a reminiscing of those memories and want to see what different types of photos and what they express, then give Tamura Hiritos a try. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.